Welcome to the Introduction to Virtualization with VMware vSphere Hypervisor. In this presentation, you will get a fundamental understanding of VMware's core virtualization technology, learn how it can benefit you, and how you can get started. Traditional server architecture consists of one operating system per physical server and one application per operating system. With VMware virtualization, a hypervisor is installed on the physical server to allow for multiple, unique, and isolated virtual machines to run on the same physical server. Once we've separated the operating system from the hardware, we can utilize the hypervisor to present a complete virtual x86 platform to many virtual machines. vSphere Hypervisor is the free version of VMware's leading class architecture that helps you save money through consolidation, get up and running in minutes, Utilize an extremely thin architecture, requiring only 144 megabytes of space to install. A small disk footprint means reduced attack surface and fewer patches. VMware Hypervisor features superior scalability and manageability, is easy to install and use, and can be upgraded just by changing the license key. Some of the key properties of virtual machines are partitioning, running multiple machines on the same hardware and sharing resources between them, isolation, fault and security isolation at the hardware level. Encapsulation. The entire virtual machine can be saved to files and moved, copied, backed up, and restored. Hardware independence. The virtual machines are not tied to specific hardware or vendors. So, what's the problem that we're trying to solve? IT has the constant pressure to reduce costs while providing more. The core benefits of virtualization include reducing complexity, dramatically lowering costs, and enabling a flexible, agile IT service delivery. How does this happen? By consolidating many existing servers onto a fewer number of servers. By containing new applications through virtualization and managing the growth of existing ones. And by increasing application availability and data recoverability. We can even save time during disaster recovery. In the physical world, server hardware had to be reconfigured, the OS installed and configured, and the backup agent installed before we could even start the recovery process. When virtualized, a simple restore of the virtual machine files and a power on is all the time you need. This allows us to eliminate recovery steps and standardize the recovery process no matter what the operating system. With a technology called thin provisioning, storage space is much better utilized. The virtual machine will only utilize space required on disk for what is utilized inside the guest operating system. It's also very easy to convert virtual machines between thick and thin format. You can make better use of existing infrastructure. In this quick example, 10 physical servers are reduced to only three physical servers. This represents a very conservative consolidation ratio of about three to one, and ratios around eight or 10 to one are typical. CapEx savings are just the beginning of the story. So how do you get started? Installing vSphere Hypervisor is easy by either visiting go.vmware.com to deploy hypervisor hosts directly, or VMware Go can direct you to download the installable ISO image from vmware.com. On go.vmware.com, just answer a few easy questions, and the VMware Go wizard will have you up and running in minutes. Simply configure your hypervisor, connect using the vSphere client, and begin using vSphere hypervisor. The hypervisor host and the virtual machines are easily managed using the vSphere client. You have an inventory pane on the left and options for the selected inventory object on the right pane. Control the power state of the virtual machine, suspend it, or even take point-in-time snapshots of the virtual machine state. You can even use the vSphere client to access a virtual machine's console. Also access the many hypervisor host and virtual machine monitoring charts, including CPU, memory, network, and disk. So, how do you create virtual machines? You can build virtual machines from scratch by specifying the virtual hardware and loading an operating system. You can import a virtual appliance created by someone else. Or you can utilize VMware Converter to import an existing physical machine. What is vSphere? VMware vSphere is the industry-leading virtualization platform. vSphere contains a number of features that transform industry-standard hardware into a shared, mainframe-like resilient environment with built-in service-level controls for all applications. vSphere accelerates the shift to cloud computing for existing data centers, while also underpinning compatible public cloud offerings, paving the way for the only hybrid cloud model. vSphere Hypervisor is free and allows for the partitioning of a single server. 
it is quick and easy to upgrade to different kits or editions of vSphere by simply applying a valid license key. To sum up, VMware virtualization reduces cost, improves availability, and simplifies operations utilizing our enterprise-class hypervisor architecture. Get up and running in minutes for free, then upgrade to higher editions for higher availability and enterprise savings. This concludes our presentation on the introduction to virtualization with VMware vSphere Hypervisor. To learn more about virtual technology and VMware solutions, explore vmware.com. Thank you.